Hey everybody, so it is Easter. Happy Easter to everybody. So what I'm going to show you today is how I do my escoviche for my fish and basically everything else that I eat escoviche with like festival and planting and <laughs> everything. But here we go. So we are putting our, we're julienne, julienne in, if that's the word. Um, my chocho and my carrots so they're doing some nice um we're doing some nice fine cuts um you know it's always important to have these things looking all nice because you eat with your eyes first which makes sense and we're cutting up those carrots now my favorite thing about escovige is that you can eat everything in it you know it's amazing so i have my onions and i have my squash bonnet so i was trying to sneak in right there but i'm not ready for them yet so i'm doing the same thing to my onions which is the julienne have them nicely fine shredded and you know when they're like that it's nice and colorful and also nice and palatable for the for the mouth so now i'm doing my peppers and squash bonnet pepper is one of the best peppers ever in the world and i love the red and i love the green green has flavor orange has heat but they can carry heat so here there everything is now together and we have everything nice and shredded so we're going to be adding our other stuff now so i'm going to be adding i think it is pimento that i'm going to be adding now yeah, with pimento seeds and then my vinegar. Pour that in right there. Yeah, yeah, nice and together. And then I'm gonna add some sugar because, guys, as, as people may think, you know, you need the sugar in your escovitch to make it that good. You can eat it by itself. And a little bit of salt. Yeah, mix that up. And then some people have it just like this because the vinegar does do some breakdown of the vegetables and you can eat like that. But to make it even much more delicious and get all those flavors out, I'm going to add it to my pot. So all vegetables included plus the vinegar. And I'm going to put it on the stove on a medium flame, boil it up and have it all nice and mixed up and all the flavors coming out. Mix that up right there, and there you have it. Well, Escovish is ready. We just turn it off and leave it on the stove until it cool.